Good day, everyone. Our discussion for today will focus on four topics. First is the pleasure principle. Next is the government and the public sector roles in leisure and recreation activities. Third is the recreation, leisure, and sports in the community. And lastly is the leisure provision in the commercial sector. For the first part, we have the pleasure principle. The Pleasure Principle Foundation Stones for Leisure and Recreation Management covers play, recreation, and leisure. So in between those three words or of those three principles, we have the word pleasure. Okay, so at the heart of the play, recreation, and leisure, we have the pleasure. As you can see in the figure, these are overlapping or they have the connection with each other, so they cannot be separated. Again, this is the pleasure principle. When we say play, this is an activity freely chosen and indulged in for its own sake for the satisfaction it brings in the doing. This exhibits childlike characteristics of joy, spontaneity, self-expression, and a creation of its own special meaning in a play world. When we say recreation, this is more institutional in character. Recreation can be recreation. This is an inner consuming experience that leads to revival. Recreation experience renews, restores, and recharges the person involved in this kind of activities. We have the word leisure. When we say leisure in its idealistic sense, it can be perceived as experiencing activities chosen in relative freedom that are personally satisfying and innately worthwhile, leading an individual towards self-actualization and ultimately play a part in a self-fulfilling way of life. Pleasure is a word coined to describe a human inner experience that might be found whether in play, leisure, or recreation. Next part, we have the government and the public sector and the leisure. People leisure or people's leisure and recreation is made possible through a wide range of providers, through powers and duties invested in government and through natural and man-made resources, services, facilities, and management. There are different parties involved in the provision of leisure facilities such as the central government, the unitary authorities, the country councils, the district councils, the parish councils. We also have the institutions such as schools, colleges, and universities, the private sector companies, not-for-profit companies, and charitable trusts, a substantial number of voluntary organizations, and national and local pressure groups. Again, these are the parties involved in the provision of leisure facilities. For the scope of public leisure and facilities, we have the local authority leisure and recreation provision and services. First, we have the sport and recreation that is usually outdoor. So we have the following activities. We have the playing fields, are the following venues or facilities. We have the playing fields, the golf courses, the bowling greens, the stasia and tracks, and the marinas and ski slopes. And then for sports and indoor recreation or sports and recreation that is usually indoor, we have the swimming pools, the gymnasia, sport halls, uh, ice rinks, and leisure centers. For the informal recreation, we have uh, of course, this is mainly outdoor. We have the following facilities. We have the play spaces, amenity open space, the urban parks and gardens, and beaches, lakes, and rivers. For countryside recreation, we have the following places. We have country parks, uh, national parks, camping sites, picnic sites, and water sports areas. For cultural recreation, we have the following facilities. We have concert halls, the theaters, art centers, and art galleries. For education-related recreation, we have the adult educational centers, 
the youth clubs and community centers. For library services, we have the different branches of libraries, the district libraries and mobile libraries. For tourism conservation and heritage, we have the following facilities. We have the information services, the historical sites, the nature reserves, conservation areas and museums. For the entertainment, catering, and conferences, we have the public halls, the pavilions, the piers, restaurants, bars, and conference centers. For the housing community and social services, we have the play centers, the city farms, the allotments, the day centers, community halls, holiday camps, and caravan parks. So these are the following or the different facilities that helps the public leisure and recreational activities possible. Third part is the recreation, leisure, and sports in the community. So this is in connection with tourism, heritage, and leisure, as well as sports, physical recreation, and physical activity. Recreation and leisure in the community, so many activities that are considered recreational in high-income countries, are considered a means of livelihood in low-income countries. So example of this are fishing and handicrafts. These activities that people participated are determined by each gender, local context, such as rural versus urban and social economic status. For the cultural activities, we have the traditional dance, the storytelling, the religious festivals and events and visiting entertainment groups. In poor and rural communities, we have, uh, they are able to gather in places of worship and for, uh, in the places like tea shops, even in houses and open spaces. There are different benefits of participating in these kinds of activities. So we, uh, number one is health promotion and disease prevention. Number two is skills development. Three, awareness raising and reduction of stigma and social inclusion. Next is international peace and development, and of course, empowerment. Now let's go to the last part. We have the leisure provision in the commercial sector. The primary objective of the commercial operator is of course to achieve financial profit or an adequate return on investment. They make money by serving the public in the belief of giving people what they want. There are different leisure activities in and around the home. We have different leisure instruments. We have the home itself, the home improvements, family interests and hobbies, and material possessions of the household. Also, the media and leisure in the home we have the television, radio, records, computers, desk, tapes, video, DVD, newspaper, books, and magazines. Also for TV stations that includes commercials, DVD market, and the internet market, of course, TV participation, or video games. For the public houses and eating out, we have uh, this kind of food service facility. We have what we call the pubs. These are businesses that serve alcoholic drinks such as beer and many others, and usually also non-alcoholic drinks such as lemonade and the like. We have other activities that involve in the commercial sector. We have the cinema going, theater going, children's indoor play centers, we have the sports as recreation, theme parks, family entertainment centers, nightclubs and discotheques, leisure parks, or a purpose-built development with at least three units covering 30,000 square feet or more of letable floor space, mainly comprised of leisure occupiers and usually, but not always, dedicated car parking. So again, these are the different activities that can be done during recreation or leisure time. 